If you find yourself in a stretching time, remember, grab your scripture, grab a vision board, grab some, like, make sure you're meditating on what goodness is coming out of this tough season. And remember your worship and remember to push past that feeling of just wanting to stay home and not go to church. Get up. Push past that feeling of, nah, I'm not going to go to church. Push past that feeling of, like, just wanting to isolate yourself. When you isolate yourself, like, that's exactly where the enemy wants us. Isolated, on our own. But, you know what, we just have to have that, like, discipline and that, 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 that willpower to push through these difficult circumstances. Knowing that, guys, it's just a season. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and if this is your first time kicking with me, what's up? I'm awkwardly sitting in my car. <sighs> I've come to run away from my kids. We have been on a long six weeks um, summer holiday and I think I'm just like near the end of it. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm ready for my kids to go back to school. But not just because like I've just had my kids to juggle with and entertaining them and stuff, I think. With everything that we're going through, there's so much that's on my mind. Um, and so today's vlog is going to be about what I am doing in the season of waiting. Um, if you don't already know, we're going through a season where my, hus my husband has, is now contractless. So that means that we're living by faith, guys. Um, I'm not going to share any details, but I think I'm going to um, allow you to connect the dots. Um, and so, yeah, guys, we're living by faith and... It's been uncomfortable, it's been um, stretching, it's been stretching me in capacity um, and just like it's, it's forcing us to really rely on God and not our own and um, there's been a few things that I have been wrestling with um, and so many of those, a few of those things are actually like crossing my mind as I speak. Um, but I just wanted to share another video just to encourage you guys. If you find, have found yourself in a season where you are um, really relying on the Lord to, to, to be your provider. Um, I just want to let you know that I'm in the same boat. I am in the same boat and I know that many Christians and even just people in general they're, they're going through some tough times where um you know things are getting a lot more expensive and um all of that stuff and so i found myself like it almost feels like we're coming we're coming to the end of a road and when you come to the end of a road or when you come to the end of a hallway there's always a door and you kind of like i literally feel like i'm near the store and I'm waiting for the store to open and I've just been waiting and that's how I spiritually feel like I'm start my feet are starting to itch I'm starting to like I'm really craving and I'm waiting for the download and I've been praying for vision I'm itching for vision um and so what, what have I been doing? I've got this really random. And so I've been itching. I feel like my spur is itching. Like I'm just like wanting more. I'm wanting more of God. I'm wanting more of his glory. I'm wanting more. I want to see more from him. Um, I'm getting really hungry to see like more of God. Like I am kind of like not okay with what I've seen so far from him. And what do I mean by that? Like I want to grow in more intimacy i want to grow in i want to see miracles um i want to see breakthrough i want to see everything that god has got for me so basically i'm feeling like i am this feeling of like just i don't want to settle for this like i'm wanting more of god more of his presence more of everything so what have i done i've actually got this i want to do a vision board and vision board is like just you know what you see the future and like I, it's, it's basically like this i've got this 
board and I've got this on here and a picture of my husband. This right here, what you see right here, a wee word of encouragement that I received before I went to Dauntless. And if you remember, Dauntless is the um, women's um, gathering, women's conference gathering and um, thing that we have for church. Um, and basically it says, Sandra Holo Holo, a season for you. You may find yourself asking how Lord is crazy, is faithful. He wants to remind you that he sees you and he has plans for you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares the Lord. They are plans for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. The last few years have been training, training ground for what God has next. He's known the plans and has been working in you like a gardener works the grounds. Planting, pruning, watering, feeding has been to encourage growth and preparation for the next season. Um, get ready because there is more within you and more for you. Lean into all God has for you this weekend and ahead. And so this is the first thing that I have on my board. And then I've got a cute little photo of Willis and I. Um, just a little Polaroid picture. Um, and I've got these empty pages. I've got these empty pages and one of them says at the top, it says, Thanksgiving ushers in the presence of God. And when God is present, we always have victory. And then this one is devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And then also this one that really stood out to me right here. Don't be jealous of what someone else has if you don't want to do what they did to get it. And um, I just wanted to like, I, don't, I think I'm going to go off of like these few things that I have. And um, first I'm going to start off with devoting yourself to prayer and being watchful and thankful i think in the season i have really really struggled like this week oh my gosh like a week and a half i have really really battled with anxiety and it's just kind of like i don't know i find that like my anxious my anxiety is triggered when i start to think about everything that has gone wrong like oh my gosh this has gone wrong that's gone wrong this has gone wrong and I'm finding myself like getting really overwhelmed at home where I'm just like <sighs> even this morning I was like in the in the kitchen in the lounge and I was just like man I'm really struggling blah blah, blah. just had like some anxiety and stuff and then that verse um, popped into my mind like be anxious for nothing but pray about everything and it just made me realize like you know, I'm not being like super religious or like being like hardcore, but I just felt like, am I really praying as much as I should be? And the answer is probably not. Like I probably am not. Um, but it's cool because then I can have this, right? And it's got like an empty page and I can just jot down like what I'm praying for in this season. So I'm going to add that to my board um, because I just need to, your girl, is in a season where I am like proper relying on the Lord and I just gotta like get in there. I gotta wake up, look at this board. I gotta wake up and be filled with faith. I gotta, I gotta literally, I'm not even lying. I'm not even being hardcore. Like I am in a season where the, I need to see the Lord. Like I'm, I'm, I need a miracle. I don't know if you can see my eyes, the nervousness in my eyes. I need a miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you need to come through for us. Um, so that's my first thing and it's really really nice as well because um on the 10th of september our church is going to start a prayer series um and i love it because i know like i can take it seriously because i know my leadership i know my pastors they are prayerful people like i think if i was at a church and I'm, and i knew like leadership we're not integral leadership don't even pray don't even practice what, what they preach but because i know them and i know that they do it's so easy for me to like you know just to jump on board with that and just be like yep you know the whole iron sharpens iron thing so that is my first like empty page thing and then the next one is thanksgiving ashes in the presence of god and when god is present we always have victory and um this is actually something that i was like really i was doing really well in the beginning i was just like thanking god all the time but i feel like maybe some of my anxiety has kicked in because i've stopped like actually stopping i've stopped meditating on what 
great things has happened because yes maybe um you know a few things have a couple of things major things have been stripped away but also some really incredible things have happened in this season of i don't know the season of uncertainty like honestly some incredible things have happened like i can't wait till i can actually come out of the season and and say like this happened that happened and so um even though even though we're in the season of craziness right now some incredible things have happened you know so it's good for me to jot that down so i can like meditate on that and um know that like you know girl god is moving in your life even though when it doesn't feel like it he is he really is and the third one that struck out to me that stuck out to me is don't be jealous of what someone else has if you don't want to do what they did to get it and i'm gonna be like super transparent with you guys i'm gonna be i'm gonna be super transparent and this is something that i wouldn't usually say but because i'm in this situation i think i'm gonna say it you know when god does bless you and you know you're in a season where god elevates you when god blesses you or god favors you like people sometimes can be quite jealous and it, it's quite obvious like you can pick up on the vibes some some people in their comments the way they treat you gossip that's shared about you all of the stuff and it really taught me a valuable lesson i always said to myself if i ever face a situation where god takes me down like where god like you know um where i am in a position where someone else is being elevated above me or someone is getting recognized or someone is being blessed blessed um and someone receives something that i am believing for and i haven't yet received it i always told myself make sure that you are happy for everyone that is blessed even though you may not be blessed in that area these are great lessons that i've also been like teaching Atu as well um Atu was my almost 15 year old teenager and it's been nice to be able to practice being happy for others and so um wallace and i have actively been practicing in the season like being happy for others congratulating them because we know what it's like when people are jealous of you and i know what it's like when i because i was a very jealous person when i was little and i just don't want to operate in jealousy and competitiveness and stuff so this is great so that's what i'm doing guys um i don't know i hope that that has encouraged you but also i'm not just gonna do that i'm actually gonna pray for some scriptures and i'm gonna plaster them on and then i'm gonna go on canva and i'm gonna just like maybe um type out some stuff like words some keywords like maybe prayer faith um print out a few scriptures that sent out to me and then i'm gonna pop them on my um board and then i'm gonna put it next to my bed and that's just gonna be something great that i can have to just really feed my faith because honestly guys i'm fighting against doubt i'm fighting against like even depression depression trying to just seep into my spirit like you know trying to make me meditate on everything that has gone wrong rather than what god is doing what god is preparing in me and my family so um yeah and it's uh, i've just gotta uh, i've gotta i've gotta i've gotta gather my weapons bro my worship my word my scripture i, I need a bro I, i'm in like this spiritual battle and we all are so um if you're going through a season where like you're struggling and you really need to feed your faith maybe something like maybe this is something that you would like to do um something that i also like to do is i'll go on my phone and i will literally like i don't have it now usually but i think i am gonna do it now i will look for a scripture and then i that i'm standing on and then i'll have it as my cover photo and i think i'm gonna do that as well because i need that faith i need to feed my soul my spirit that faith and um so yeah i um so yeah i hope this encourages you just to keep running your race like don't give up um and just keep like pushing past that that feeling of like not wanting to get out of bed not wanting to get out of bed and um going to church like get up go to church even if you're feeling down do it um i think last week i think last week i had such a tough week but um something cool um that but something cool that happened was i was able i was on worship for the first time and um and then i also got asked by a 
a i also got asked um worship for the first time and i found that like me getting up early in the morning going somewhere and just choosing to to be a part of um you know building the building church and um playing my role like physically being in church and um you know serving in that area i was able to like shake off this feeling and so today i'm gonna go meet up with a friend and i'm actually gonna pray i'm gonna ask her to pray for me um and it's so cool because like this friendship that i have with my friend she's just come out of a really difficult season and as i'm going through this season season it's so nice to be able to like call people up and be like hey i'm really struggling in this area i need you to pray and so yeah guys it's a bit of real talk for you guys some transparency um because we're in some stretching times so um if you find yourself in a stretching time remember grab your scripture grab a vision board grab some like make sure you're meditating on what the what goodness is coming out of this tough season and remember your worship and remember to push past that feeling of just wanting to stay home and not go to church girl get your get up push past that feeling of nah i'm not gonna go to church push past that feeling of like just wanting to isolate yourself when you isolate yourself like that's exactly where the enemy wants us isolated on our own but you know what we just have to have that like discipline and that 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 willpower to push through these difficult circumstances knowing that guys it's just a season so anyway guys i hope you this encouraged you i'm so sorry for like the setup um i can't help it but yeah i'm gonna go meet up with my friend get her to pray for me and hopefully i come back like refreshed and ready to just do what i gotta do at home so yeah thank you so much for joining me i hope you feel encouraged i hope you leave encouraged and i hope um this encourages you to get in your work and worship and to keep on running your race okay so Bye, guys.